Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Daily Digest. Uh, today's is a sad Daily Digest, as unfortunately the, uh, the pilot of today's deck uh, lost his life recently in a car accident. Um, there is a memorial tournament for him going on next weekend in Ohio, the details of which you can find beneath this video. So uh, please, if you're in the area, you can make it out to that. Uh, I would appreciate you showing up, and uh, I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, the deck is pretty sweet. It is a taking turns deck, but one with as foretold, and it's definitely built with as foretold in mind. You have Ancestral Vision, uh, Teleri West to transmute for them, in addition to a couple other uh, uh, suspend cards uh, for added utility. And you have Savor the Moment as a, a cheap time walk that you can use as foretold to sort of take advantage of, even without the extra mana, as you don't untap. It also can help ramp you to just play a Savor turn three, sort of like an Explore. Um, to give yourself a little bit more speed. Um, this hand is interesting. I think it's a keep just because Howling Mind's pretty strong and I'm likely to get a land in the top three cards. Uh, it's definitely a risky card, risky keep, but I'm going to try it. Um, once we get a Howling Mind in play, like we have plenty of ways to, to dig further and savor the moment, draw extra cards with that. Um, so the, the upside here is pretty high. This is also a deck that doesn't mulligan that well. needs a lot of resources to operate. And there we go. Hit our land. I'm perfectly fine shipping that time walk to the bottom. Basic Mountain Burn deck. Real Burn deck. Spark Elemental. This could get awkward. Okay, another land is great. Uh, there's a good chance I play as we're told on turn three, just to start ramping that. I'm going to try to see if I can go off on turn five. Maybe turn four with Saber. No, because I won't have as we're told ramped up far enough yet. See what our opponent does. Unfortunately, Howling Mind makes the burn deck so consistent. I'm almost assuredly dead on their turn four. Maybe I can buy a turn with Giga Drowse. Okay, also well, this is not a super fast draw. Our opponent's very creature oriented in their, their style of burn. So just at 14, a budget burn deck, if you will. Okay, time warp, not bad. Um, not having a land is tough though. Um, um, hmm. Hmm. I think I'd rather. This is sort of worth the mana getting an Asper told down, so I think it's worth it. Next turn, we'll be able to play Howling Mine. Even if we don't hit a land, we'll Giga Dress for two. We can cast it off Asper told and replicate it with our one remaining mana. If we do hit a land, we'll be able to do it for three, and that should buy us a turn. Might even save her next turn, actually. Now that I think about it. Of course, it depends on what our opponent does here. Uh, ooh, another health spark. I'm actually really happy with this. This means it's pretty unlikely that we're dead next turn. Especially if they miss a land drop, which would be inexplicable. Oh my god. Oh yes. Oh, they just unearthed it. Okay. I discard a card from your hand, sure. Skull crack, that's fine. Okay, we definitely have another turn, so we can we can take our time here. Ooh, exhaustion. Uh, even though this Teleri West represents an ancestral, I really need mana, so I'm actually gonna play it, and I'm going to exhaustion my opponent. So, oh yeah, we're in, we're in impeccable shape now. Add eleven life. Opponent doesn't have any lands. This should be an easy one. If they play a Spark Elemental, I might Giga Drowse it before it attacks. Oh, just a Lava Spike, sure. Hmm. Okay, land was great. 
Oh yeah. Okay. So now we can play this Howling Mine off of As We're Told and cast Time Warp. Target me. I wonder how Saver works if you cast Saver on the same turn you cast some other Time Warp effect. Is it depending on the order you cast them in? Do you choose which one to take? How would Moto do that? Would I break Moto? Definitely want another land here. Okay, we hit it. Perfect. Um, so now I think I'm just going to part plus as foretold. We'll start ramping both of those out. We'll have two as foretolds going as uh, we cast these savers. Each one will draw us a bunch of cards, and then by the time we get under the saver lock, we can uh, we can even start using as foretold to cast other time locks. So, bam! Let's get some more counters. This deck is sweet. Oh yeah, howling mine in. More lands. Uh, serum visions. Cast it with the one on one. Another Giga Drows isn't very good, and we don't need lands. So I'll cast this Howling Mine. Still have five mana here, so I can cast a lot of stuff. And now we'll draw four cards. Might take us a little while to end this game, but I don't see me passing the turn ever. At least me passing the turn to someone not named me. Excellent. Um, let's play this the one off of the one with two. Draw trace cards. And play a Howling Mine. And then I can play this as foretold. Oh yeah, well, I've got three of them going now. Then I can time warp myself. And we'll eventually get to the point where we just elixir back. I don't even think I'm going to kill them with this Ink Moth. I have seven cards in my hand. Don't even have to discard yet. Perfect. And we have a six, a three, and a one. Uh, how much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, how about I play this off the one with one? Um. And just play this off the one with three. And then go to my next turn. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I got a million cards now. I can probably discard this and discard Giga Drows. Perfect, got everything. Uh, so this is nine. Let's uh, play this off the one with two. Play. Ooh, man, we can do so many things. Um, Play this off the one um, so I'm just trying to get to mana where I part but I so I don't want to use my mana yet let's cast this off the one with four and then play this one off the one with seven sure uh, 
And now let's get to 10. And we have 12 cards in our hand. So let's discard some of them. Two, three, four, five. We'll draw a million cards. Uh, I don't want to draw a million cards this turn now. So let's uh, part with Awaken. Target that land. Uh, let's sleight of hand. Serum visions. And that should do it. And now we have 10 cards in our hand. We'll discard this bag as foretold, this exhaustion, this sleight of hand. We'll draw five cards, shuffle our deck in, uh, let's play this time warp, let's play this time warp, let's activate this elixir, so we don't kill ourselves and let's just start killing them shall we no need to waste any more time and we have fate foretold on very large numbers attack for six For good measure, I'll time warp myself one more time. Discard a million cards. You know, that doesn't ask for told on 11. Get to uh, like Emrakul mana. And Mushi for six. Got him. Four ancestral visions in my hand. Don't even need them. Whenever you can win by cycling through your deck and decking your opponent with Ancestrals. That would be fun. Okay. I like Thing in the Ice a lot, especially against Spark Elemental and Hellspark Elemental. I like Dispels, and I think I like Cryptic. I just want to counter stuff. Uh, I don't really want to mess around with those. Gonna trim some of these because exhaustion sort of takes their place. And I don't think Giga Drowse is that good. Mainly there for counter spell decks, so I think that's an easy cut. So you need to cut one more. Um I don't want to flood on Ancestrals. I think I think you can trim one in the faster matchups. Run it like that. Thing of the Ice should be very good here against our opponent's particular budget build of Burn, but we shall see. They might have something like a Rending Volley. That'd be a tilt. Got a fly running around. There's always one fly. There's never more than one. Just one. So annoying. Okay, four lands. We got an answer to a burn spell. Serum Visions, definitely gonna keep. And our opponent's mulligan. How nice. Guess we should see how they scry. Bottom. Even better. What you got? Spark Elemental? A little sparky? Lava Spike, sure. Exhaustion's a good one.
Ooh, ancestral and asked for told. Um, since I'm likely going to want to use this Teleri OS now for as foretold, I do think I want the fourth land. So let's top top. Uh, probably exhaustion on three, and then ancestral on four, and dis and have dispel up. So. Uh, magma Jet. Do I want to dispel a Magma Jet? Did I not stop? No. I think Magma Jet's fine. Bottom top. I think I'd rather get a 3 damage spell. Yeah, you got a hell spark. They missed the line drop again. I guess they were on six cards, so. No. Oh. Uh, okay, let's exhaustion you. And uh, maybe I'm, once again, maybe I'm supposed to ask for a as soon as possible so I can start ramping it quickly. Tough to say. We're, we're certainly not out of the woods. We're 12. Okay, Time Warp was a very good draw. Let's play as we're told. Bam. Draw three, up to seven. Couple of lands and another time walk. Not bad. Uh, I think I should just dispel this. There aren't a lot of cards, like if mono red, I don't think there are cards that deal a ton of damage. And I might just die to creatures. Lava Spike, Hell Spark, Spark Elemental. There's a lot of a lot of targets, a lot of things that Dispel doesn't target. Um, yeah, there's the Unearth. Do I risk one more turn here? At nine life, they need to be able to burn me three times. With three cards in hand. Um, I think I should risk it because I can. Uh, so here's what I can do I can hit Dispel off of this uh, Ancestral, which is great. Or, oh, and I have Ink Moth Nexus to block some creature if they have that worst case scenario. Um, what do I discard here? I think I discard the island actually. So the next turn I can start off with Part and Serum Visions. I'm not super thrilled by a fourth land. Okay, I am thrilled by Rift Bolt. This is likely Skullcrack. Sure. Yeah, I think that. Okay, really, yeah, so we gotta kill him this turn. Okay, drew a land. Um, serum visions off the ass foretold. Exhaustion is not good. 
because they have the rift bolt there. So let's bottom that. But I like howling mine. Um, hmm. Do I part here or do I just time warp? Because next turn I can time warp plus howling mine anyway. So I think I actually time warp. Um, yeah. Let's start there. Now we howling mine. Oh no, I think I was supposed to part. Yeah. Definitely think I was supposed to part because I'm gonna so I'm gonna get to seven mana this turn. And if I get to eight mana the next turn, I can time warp plus cycle Talaria West and cast that off the house we're told. I ca uh, cast the ancestral. Hmm. Hopefully that doesn't bite us. Um, I guess actually I can just cast the Howling Mind of the Asper Told and then part here. Yeah, let's do that. Because I want this line to be available to me if I hit a land in the next two draws. How does anyone ever kill with Inkwall Nexus? Seems so difficult. Especially with Saber in your deck. Okay. So, now we still have three time walks and we draw two cards on each one and we have an Ancestral. So, still feel good. We have two time warps left in our deck and we, so we only have three time walks left in the deck. Another Howling Mine, okay. Um, yeah, let's uh, cast that one. Let's take the Serum Visions. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna savor this turn because then I can time warp off the As Foretold. Uh, so that means, so I have six mana left. Yeah, I should uh, transmute this now before I scry. Get an ancestral. Um, play Howling Mine. Play Serum Visions. I like both of those, and I drew the. Oh man, I just drew all my time walks. I'm great. And cast off as foretold. Okay. Fifth counter, doing it, and we found a land, that's not bad, cast it as we're told, should be able to find the, uh, find the elixir here, okay, well, our opponent didn't want to see any more. They are, we were almost assuredly going to win that game, so nice showing from the deck. Um, our opponent was not a, a tier 1 burn deck, so probably gave us a little extra time there uh, than we otherwise would have had, but we went off pretty consistently, and as we're told, was a huge part of it. You can see there with a, if you just, you have to take some care to time your, and sequence your time walks correctly, but using it uh, with Howling Minds in play, you can cast Saver and then Untap, recast a time walk with your as for a told, and then keep going from there and uh, free your, free up a lot of mana early in the chain, which is really nice. So really sweet deck. Uh, once again, hope you guys can check out that Memorial Tournament. If you guys can show up, that would be great. Um, and uh, thank you for watching, and you can come back and see me on Monday. Bye.